welcome back to another video. I know it's been forever. I'm so sorry for the lag of videos. Um, I will start, you know, pulling out more videos for you guys. I'm just so sorry that I just haven't had the time. Me and my husband have been like crazy working and it's just, it's been so hard. Every time we're about to record, it's like always different things. But yeah, um, I finally got together with Caesar to record this look for you guys. I hope you guys like this look. And if you do, let's go ahead and keep on watching the video. All right, so as you can see, I did already do my brows and I applied like a very thin layer of the Pro Filter Fenty Foundation, the shade 210. And right now I'm gonna go ahead and basically use the Tarte Shape Tape, which is this one in light sand, and basically just clean up my brows a bit. That way it can be extra sharp and we can also use this as a primer for our eyeshadow base. So now that we have the base, take a flat brush. I'm just gonna take a small white shadow from the Too Faced Peach Palette. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that all over the lid. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this really quick so I can do the other side. That way we can just get started with the whole eyeshadow. All right, so now that we have the base ready and to go, I'm gonna be taking Summer Yum Yum, which is this shade right here. That's the only color that we're gonna be using today, and I will show you how to go from looking kind of like different, main, mainly kind of like looking you know, light and then dark. So we're just gonna go straight into that palette and then go straight into our crease. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is keep packing on that color just so you can get kind of like a depth into the eyes. And I am using the Luxie Blending Brush in 235. I definitely will be leaving them in the description below if you are curious to know what each product I use. Because I know sometimes I forget to like mention certain things. And then we're going to be taking Summer Yum Yum again, but I'm focusing it more on the outer corner. As you can see, it is starting to build depth. And taking a small blending brush, we're going to go ahead and blend that all together. I'm going to go ahead and do this other side really quickly so we can jump on to the next step. Next, I'm going to be coating my lashes with the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. But this look is not, you know, something that involves a lot of skill or technique. This look is more on the go. It's not something that, you know, you need to be like perfect at it. So we are going to go next with the eyeliner. I'm taking Schwing from The Balm, as you can see. And we're going to do a kind of like a semi-thick wing. Not really. So today I'm going to be using the Shop Glam Co. in the style Sophie. And these are like amazing lashes. They are pretty bold, so that's like my favorite. So I'm going to be applying that with regular dual lash glue and just pop them on. So I went ahead and applied one lash on off camera so I can just apply this while I'm showing you guys how I usually do. I usually only do it like press it on and then press the outer and then the inner and bam, that's it. So I am going to go ahead and apply this on. I start off by the middle so it's on place like that and then I tug on the outer corner, press and then I tug in the inner corner and I press it with my hand. So the next step is to hide the lash band so that when you close your eyes you don't see like glue or any residue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the balm liner in the shade Schwing and then just go ahead and cover that lash band where I see glue. <laughs> and start with the concealing part. I am going to be concealing underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, and that will be it. I'm not going crazy. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. And blend it out after with the Beauty Blender. Then I'm going to go ahead and set the concealer with the Airspun Translucent Powder. You know what's crazy? I never really liked this translucent powder, but I learned to like it for some reason. So I now like it, especially for days I'm not gonna like go out or any place. I'm just doing my makeup for the fun of it. I use this one, but when I'm gonna go out, I definitely would recommend 
the Laura Mercier transparent. I'm gonna go ahead and contour with the Tarte Glow Pro to go. I'm so sorry if it's like, you know, messy, but I'm using this bottom shade to chisel out my cheekbones and my jawline. For highlighting, I'm gonna be using a cream highlighter in Starstruck by Fenty Beauty. I'm just gonna go ahead and just put that on the high cheekbones lightly all the way kind of like at the end of my brow bone. And a little bit of my nose. I'm gonna blend this one out. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight the cheekbones with Hustle Baby. I'm gonna go back to my eyes that way we can finish the look for that. And I'm gonna be taking the same shade that we used earlier, which is that one. And we're gonna go ahead and place it on our lash line. And then with the same color, we're gonna go ahead and add more depth. So I'm gonna place mostly the color on the outer edge. And to give it a pop in the inner corner, I'm gonna go with Lushes from the Sweet Peach palette. So something like that, as you can see. All right, so we did all the contouring, the highlighting. We are gonna move on to the lipstick, and I do want to go with more of the fall theme. So I decided to go with Love Bug and ColourPop. Yeah, this is like my favorite color for fall because it's like kind of like orangey but kind of red. So it's like perfect for this look. This is the completed look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this super quick and easy fall makeup tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. That way you let me know you like something easy and simple. But yeah, I mean, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.